aforementioned Sylvester Stallone. On top of chatting about Creed 2, Sly also took a moment to address the long-awaited Rambo 5 film that he has talked about several times over the last few years. <laughs> Stallone seemed to indicate that a new Rambo is off the table for him now. When he thought he says, stay home, he says. <laughs> it's like fighters that go back for one last round and get clobbered. Leave it to someone else. Schnett buy sell Stallone's decision to walk away from Rambo. Man, I have to I have to, you know, abide by what Stallone says. I don't want to see anyone else play Rambo, but I am bummed that he is not doing a Rambo five because I so thoroughly enjoyed Rambo four. They should have just called it Rambo Rambo exploding heads <laughs> by arrows. Exploding so arrowheads. Good. There were liquid bodies is what I, another thing I could have subtitled it. Bodies become liquid. It was so much fun because it was it was it was action packed, but it had that exploitative nature that I always wanted to see them go with with Rambo, where it's like, look, there's something going bad. We're gonna help. Let's get the whole crew together. We got these mercenaries, and then just insanity, super violence, and violence done the right way, the way you should do violence cinematically, over the top, crazy madness. So, Rambo to me was so much fun. Uh, I was hoping that he would do one more, one more Rambo with Stallone. I don't know. I'm so I'm kind of bummed out. Stallone, come on, man. You, you got it in you. You could do it, you know? How many weapons are you bringing? None. <laughs> you ain't changing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's the line. Like, Ra look, Rambo 4 was one, was like Rocky 6 that gets yes. announced and we're like, oh, come on. Really, Sly? You're going back to that well again? And then Rocky 6 comes out and it's like awesome. arguably the Maybe one of the best. Event. I love Rocky Six mm -hmm. so much. Um, and then Rambo Four comes out and is like, "Oh my God!" He just embraced the ridiculousness of it all, yeah. and they just went so uber violent. That one scene where he's just standing up there with the big gun, I lost count of how yeah. many dudes he kills no, and slaughters and liquefies with that gun, and it's just so much fun. <laughs> but I'm gonna buy his statement. I'm gonna buy it because he just did not just, but he's done four Rambo films. Mm -hmm. He's got another Expendables he's working on. Um, he's now receiving accolades for his performance as Rocky once again. And he might be thinking, you know what? Maybe I can slow down a little bit. Maybe I can just do these other types of acting roles where I don't have to, you know, swallow seven raw eggs every day and work out for four right. hours a day and do Maybe I can slow down a little bit now. And if that's the case, why not wrap up the Rambo series on a high note like you did with Rambo 4? Right. Uh, so I look, if they announced Rambo 5 was coming out tomorrow. I would go get in line tonight to right. see it. But. And all other things being considered, I do buy his statement, and I, I support you, Sly. I love Sly. I'm selling this. I am <laughs> selling it. He, Rambo needs a Ryan Coogler. Rambo Coog is forever. Yes. <laughs> no, he, he needs a Ryan Coogler type guy, a yeah. guy that's out there who has a great pitch for the Rambo movie because I don't think the story is over yet because it ended with him going back to the States and going to his, his dad's ranch, and what it, what it looked like it was, they were going to do. Yeah, what it looked like they were going to do was go back to First Blood and the simple story of totally. First Blood. That's how I'd like to see the the end of Rambo to where it doesn't, yeah, you're going to have that type of violence. And that's even, you put something like The Expendables next to Rambo. They're two different movies. Oh, very different. Yes, yeah. you have that kind of crazy violence in, in Rambo. But there's also, Stallone also didn't make it so over the top to where he, he Rambo couldn't be doing everything he was doing in Rambo 2. He goes, I'm old, and I'm going to get on the gun and just go like this. And that's all he does. Um, and even the whole part is like, fire every shot. What? Fire every shot. He just screams, and he yells, and then he gets in, and he kicks ass. But I want to see him do it in more of a simple so you're going back to first blood. full circle, yo. That's the way yeah. it ends. Yeah. Like the way David, the David Morrell, by the way, that book, First Blood, the book is phenomenal. And then that came out in 1972. If you guys have never read the the book, First Blood, do it. And it's such a different take. Rambo's a very different guy. But I would like to see that come to a head, and I and I think that Stallone should be the guy that closes. I don't want to see another reboot no. of. I don't want to see a reboot of Rambo. No. I'd need to see. Stallone finished the story. I, I would love to see. I love that idea too. I love it coming full so circle. Sell it, snap, snap. Well, yeah, about, I'd sell it. <laughs> about two years ago, um, he was talking. A little, there was a lot of rumors going around, and I think some of them were even then verified later by Stallone himself that they were looking at the next Rambo story was going to hit him back in the states, and now have him take on like a Mexican drug white cartel. White supremacist at one point too. And well, yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was white supremacist at one point. It was Mexican drug, drug cartel at another point. So there was they clearly batted this idea around for a long time, but. Uh, 
Oh well, it's time for Rambo to ride off into the sunset. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.